Wow, wow, we junior juice. That's all I have to say when it comes to these kind of performance. Really, really awesome stuff. Uh, where you just heard the frontman of yes. Another's Mistake as well as Trophy Nice. Actually, one of them is actually a frequent flyer to our show exactly, down here on Fresh exactly. Room. If he's not on the show, he's bringing artists to come on the exactly. show. So we're super, super excited to have him here today to be a guest. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up for Darren Tay and Vinay. Woo! I hate you on the show, like you have yes. such so much, uh, so much hair. <laughs> exactly. hey, welcome, welcome once again, Thank Vinesh. You your first this. time with us. First time here. And yeah. Darren, I can't even count how many times. Already. Too many times. <laughs> Every, he, it's, yeah. it's an annual thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an, an annual thing. Yeah. 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 Things are good, you know, things have been good, you know, with the band, like, uh, we've been writing new songs and, um, you know, that's one of them and it's all part of a new album that we are aiming to release at the yeah. end of the year and we haven't put out, like, an album in a long time. Yeah, so. I, re I, re I mean, remember those days when I used to go for gigs and whatnot, I'm like, hey, on an honest mistake will always be on the lineup and it's, like, one of the bands that you yeah. definitely have to check out. I, I love the part where he would twirl yes, his guitar, that, you know, that, oh, that yeah, signature yeah. move. <laughs> the signature Darren move. Yeah. All right. So you finished with Trophy Knives as well. Yeah. Um, how are you, things going on with Trophy Knives? It's been good. Uh, we yeah. released uh, our second full length uh, October last year. Mm -hmm. So we had an album launch uh, which these guys played on as well. Uh, it's been great. It's our second album and like now we finally have the time to like plan a proper tour. Mm -hmm. And we were like just discussing like backstage yeah. about yeah. like what like our plans for the next couple of months. Oh nice. We'll be mm -hmm. doing a bunch of stuff together. Awesome. Soon. <laughs> okay. So like this one here, is it the first collab that uh, both Trophy Nice and AHM are having currently? Or have you guys been doing stuff together already previously? Not yet. This is our first song together. Yeah. 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 So it oh, just felt it, right. Yeah. yeah, we've just been friends for like a long time. Like you know, yeah. like, like been playing in bands forever yeah. and just like literally how this happened Darren hit me up um, just before we went on stage and it's just like yeah, yeah. I this track you know like you want to like sing on it yeah. and like <laughs> yeah, I was like I think it was just like a melody right like a vocal line or, yeah, yeah I think so and, and, and it was just a phone recording yeah. you know so this was right before they went on stage <laughs> during the album launch and then uh, you know he was like listening to it on the phone and you know we felt that it was right lah yeah. Yeah. So then, a couple of weeks after that, maybe mm -hmm. you know, I, I got the song done, mm -hmm. and then um, then I called him to get into the studio to do his parts. I see. Yeah. Were you contributing to the lyrics and to the song production itself, uh, I, or were you just like? Come to sing. I, I sang on behalf of like Darren's sad life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, you can't take that back. We're live on air right now, so yeah, that, that has to be true. Forever and all on camera. <laughs> but 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 how is it? Because like that, that's a lot. Especially with nowadays, mm -hmm. a lot of artists now. I mean, like young and old, they always look for opportunities to collaborate with one another, you know, trying to pick up one another, especially for whatever that has happened uh, previously with the MCO, with COVID hitting around. So, mm -hmm. there, there's always opportunities for people to do much better, the best that they can. And how has that experience been for you guys mm -hmm. to collab with local artists, you know, trying to make a name, not just for yourself, but for your uh, fellow colleagues as well? I think for me, like, it's about highlighting each other, mm. you know, and, and that's why we, like, we decided to do this track together. Because besides this, we, like, years ago, we put out a 15-track album mm -hmm. with 15 other uh, producers from yeah. Malaysia mm -hmm. and also Southeast Asia, you know. Yeah. So, like, the whole like, idea of collaborating, you know, it, yeah. it's yeah. a natural thing, you know. So, but I figured we haven't done anything before mm -hmm. and I'm a fan of his band and his band before that too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so it, it just felt like the right thing to do and, you know, yeah. collaborating is definitely the way forward. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I believe that with bands or a anything at all, you know, it shouldn't, you, you, you cannot exist on your own. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Especially in this very small knit, um, um, industry or community. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. exactly. Like I said, like everyone has probably session for each other. You guys for have sure. probably seen yeah. each other play and whatnot. Um, I'm actually very curious as to how did you feel when when Darren, you know, was like, "Hey, 
I have a song, I want you to sing on it. How does it feel? Because he's been, I mean, he's like one of the pioneers and one of the OG yeah. in the scene. He's yeah. 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 No, you can just look at this. Uh, his career has been as long <laughs> yeah. as Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> like ever growing, everlasting. So how did it feel for you? Like when you came in as a, as a fan or a friend first? Like for me, I was just like, about time. About time. <laughs> <laughs> Why uh, did it take you so yeah. long? <laughs> I, you know, I've been like listening to like, you know, sick for like such a long time. Mm. But you know, like, I think age-wise, we're pretty much the same, you know, like, yeah. we've yeah. just been, like, playing, like, different bands. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, like, I've always liked um, Darren's hard-working work, work ethics, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why he's still playing music today, yeah. you know, after, like, such a long time. So, obviously, I was, like, very flattered, and I was just, I, I was down to contribute at whatever capacity, for sure. Nice. Nice. Okay, now he said nice things about you. You say nice, nice things, things about, about him. him. <laughs> <laughs> Curious, why? What? Yeah, why? Why do you like yeah. about Vinish or specifically why like what's your favorite thing about Trophy Knives? I think okay, the whole approach to this, um, like at the back of my head, you know, everything that I've I've done has always to be for the scene, you know, mm -hmm. it's contributing towards the industry, you know, whether, because sure. I started like, you know, playing at an early age, you know, and I would play gigs and then I ended up organizing shows because I realized that there's a need for the industry to have this kind of exchange yep. and all that, right? So with that, I came into this and, and we were talking about how some bands don't get the same opportunities yeah. as mm. other bands. Okay. Yep. You know, some just, you know, happen to be maybe a little bit more good looking or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe just have a little bit more uh, fans, more hair. Yeah. you know. But, <laughs> but, um, no more hair than Darren, okay. I can guarantee that. So, you know, when we came into this, we said, you know, we have two English bands, you know, we've been playing for a long time yeah. and we haven't done anything together. You know, let's see how far we can push this okay. mm -hmm. collaboration and how far we can move together right. because I believe again you know no band should be an island mm. I started at such an early period uh, of the scene um, where all the bands that started with us are non-existent anymore yeah they don't play anymore I'm so yeah, sad exactly. that's quite true actually yeah. yeah yeah so I don't have a group yeah. to move with mm -hmm. you know yeah. and you know I've known him for a long time and I figured Let's do this together, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Let's form like a little collective, mm -hmm. you know, and let's move together. And that's kind of how this whole idea started, yeah. you know. But mm -hmm. I've always been a fan of his band, you know. Like, the first time I saw his band, it was at Laundry at the Curve. It was oh, a legendary oh. venue. Yeah, they, I mean, the venue I, doesn't even exist anymore. It doesn't even <laughs> exist anymore. Was it, okay, was it the time where, I think it was, was it uh, with guitarist or bassist, Went all out and like broke the. Wow. Yes. yes, that was the gig, right? That was that the gig. I was the same was the gig. That was so the gig. Yes. I was that, easy that... taking care of my daughter at home. And Correct. Everything. So, yeah. But that time they were not called uh, trophy knives. It was, it was uh, Wyatt Nerves. Yeah. Yes. yes, it yes. was a different name. Yes, yes, Correct. yes. It's yeah. a legendary. Yeah. I do want to ask you, Vinish, um, um, because like Darren actually spoke about the industry and, mm -hmm. and how it has mm -hmm. been before and what you guys are trying to make out of it right now. Mm -hmm. Like your experience itself. I mean, coming from a very very hard time during the lockdowns, during all the restrictions that we had a couple of years ago how has that transition been for you your own experience in wanting to make out I mean like you, you wanted to make a name on yourself and then like with restrictions and now you have to start all over again share with us your experience on that yeah that that has been like one of the biggest um, problems for me like personally in uh -huh. 2019 towards the end of 2019 we released um, our first full length uh -huh. and um, and then in 2020 we, we had all these things lined up we were fortunate enough to to Japan just before the lockdown happened. Yep. Okay. And we were supposed to do China, Taiwan, like we had all these like big festivals lined up and then boom, like uh, the yeah. pandemic happened, right? Yeah. And so all these opportunities that were lined up for us got cancelled and so we just basically had to like build up from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. And it was strange, like 2020 was just basically, it was too soon to put out a new album because we literally just put out a record in 2019. Yeah. But at the same time, we needed to do something. So, um, most of our band members, we started like living together. We just started writing mm -hmm. um, new songs, which um, was then translated to our like latest release, "Look the Other Way." Yeah. And yeah, so we just like pushed ourselves in the corner and just started writing and writing and writing. Just started rebuilding our band again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's just just hard work, lah. <laughs> 
I love it because yeah. at the end of the day, your hard work, you know, that's gonna what that's. I feel like personally, that's what's gonna push you in the industry and yeah. maintain and keep you in the industry, right? Mm -hmm. I'm actually very curious. So we're gonna be talking about your music, uh, "Goodbye Goodnight," because mm -hmm. I I feel like it's a very classic Darren song. It's a very classic. Yeah, and it honest has Darren's name all over it. Yeah, <laughs> when, it's, when it's, you hear it the first time around. Yeah. So I'm actually curious. Well, what attracted you to the song? Like when you first heard it, because it wasn't a full song yet when you heard it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was just probably like a what, like a rhythm, it was a demo. Like a line. Yeah, it was just yeah. a demo. demo. So what attracted you to the song? For me, I guess like uh, Darren just wanted like screams over it. So like the version that we did was <laughs> so just you're not the like screamer in the yeah, I'm the like screamer in the van. Uh, <laughs> so I just needed screams. I'm like I yeah. totally like could picture the track with like um, okay. harsh vocals or screams. Um, and it's just that, and like it's a super catchy song, you know. Like um, when I share it with my friends and family, like everyone just like really loved the track. Yeah. You know? It's so easy to remember. Exactly. So. Yeah. While you're talking, I'm already like goodbye, yeah. good night. Are you auditioning or something? Or? <laughs> hey man, hey they used Ken, to. Ken, Ken, yeah, Ken. They got Ken. female friend. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's your favourite song off of Trophy Knives? So our audience just want to check out um, Trophy Knives. Yeah. Any song recommendation? Oh, ah, no, Habis! No, no, no. No, no, no he, he knows which one. He, oh, okay. The one that sounds like... Um, what's the, what's uh, the melody? How the melody goes? No, Taking Back Sunday. No, not Taking Back Sunday. Not Taking Back Sunday. Um, this is a friendship what? quiz right way. over here. Look, just say look the other way. No. It's like... Oh. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, there is this one particular yeah. one that I cannot mm. remember now. Uh, ah, the one that sounds like Thrice. R uh, okay. That one. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. But okay. anyway, yeah. okay. Oh, the point is, is, the, the point is, okay, like, I, both of us cannot remember now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. but... The album's called Look the Other Way, you know, it's an amazing mm -hmm. album, you know, there are so many good tracks and it takes you on a, like a, a journey, mm -hmm. you know, so it starts, you know, with this like very ambient, mm -hmm. you know, uh, like sound and then it just gets heavier and heavier. Mm -hmm. Now the best thing about, about what uh, Trophy Knives like write about mm -hmm. yeah. is it's, it's actually the content, mm -hmm. you know, and the content, like I feel that there's so much that I, I resonated with, you mm -hmm. know, when I first heard it. And I'm like, wow, this is a great album. It sounds good, you know, it sounds killer live, you know, and everything about it just felt like, wow, yeah. you know. Yeah, so it I think... It gave you that kind of an impact, that kind of an yeah. impression. Correct, correct. And I think, like, you, you want to listen to music that will cause you to think. Yeah. You yeah. know, you don't, you don't want to listen to just a rent, like a song and... Well, they could. And like, they okay, could. Yeah. 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 And right. and feel good coming out of it, you know. I mean, I guess that's what music does to people, yeah. right? Yeah. You want to feel good, you know. But I think you want to go beyond feeling good yeah. right. and to make people think about, you know, the context of the song yeah. and the meaning behind yeah. it, you know, and how it relates yeah. to your life. It has you know? to, like, resonate with yeah. you somehow. Be exactly. it, it can be a superficial thing, it can be something that's deep, but as long as it Correct. resonates with and that's how you feel. Yeah. So we have a minute left. I wanna, yeah. I'm curious, your favourite, on the spot, yep. uh, um, and on a uh, mistake song. Super simple. Goodbye, good night. It's the latest one, so it's the most important one. You know, like <laughs> Okay, yeah. you guys are given another 20 seconds each. Uh, share with us any updates moving forward from now. What yes. should people check you guys okay. about? Go so um, actually, we will be playing a show together uh, in, in another two weeks. On June 11th, we'll be opening for this legendary band called Plague of Happiness. Okay. Yeah, and they, they are actually releasing a new album. And this is basically their album launch uh, at Panggung Asia, uh -huh. Gomba, on the 11th of June. So right. okay. if you're out there, just come hang check out. Check it out. Yeah, and do check out their social media Darren? as well. Yeah, Darren. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, definitely check us out. You know, we're, on, we're all on social media mm -hmm. all the time. So <laughs> AHM band and uh, Trophy Knives band. Yeah. 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 All right. So any concerts for you? Any, any showcases for you? So we're doing that show um, oh, together. together. Yeah, yeah. On, on 11th of June. So both An Honest Mistake and Trophy Knives um, together with Kyoto Protocol, nice. uh, Dependent, Krusty, a bunch of bands. Is it yeah. uh, free admissions or? No, there is a ticket. It's 60 oh, bucks. Yeah. Thanks, then. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I'm thanking you right now. <laughs> <laughs> 60 ringgit to check out all of these amazing, amazing, legendary bets. I literally, thank God the camera wasn't on me because my jaw dropped. She went like, like, oh. <laughs> like oh, hello, I'll be there. But again, thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming you, on the please. show. You, right. Again, yeah. please, please, please stream uh, their song, Goodbye, Goodnight. Yeah. It's really good. Um, from any platforms, right? Oh, any all platforms. the platforms. Yeah. You guys are all on